At the time, there was an, what was felt by many business people, a complete over-regulation in business. Um, there was a need for business licenses, and, quite, and the application process was completely prohibitive for small and emerging business um, to actually get into the mainstream of business. And there was a call for the deregulation of this, and the Business Act was a result of that uh, process of deregulation. The Business Act doesn't require permits uh, if you want to trade. And that's basically a recognition of what's contained in the Constitution, which is that, and the Constitution gives everyone the right and the permit to trade automatically. It was a new era. South Africa was shedding the repressive shackles of the past. And for this reason, the Business Act repealed all laws prior to 1991 that discriminated against the informal sector. There was a realization that the informal trading had a role to play, were necessary for survival of people and survival of the economy, um, and that therefore one needed to look at um, a way to stimulate it rather than to restrict it, and, but still maintaining proper can I say, law and order and standards uh, as required. The Business Act ensures that the needs of informal traders are met without compromising the rights of the public. The Act identifies places where trading is prohibited. It also empowers municipalities to pass bylaws demarcating areas which are leased or rented to traders. It's not permission to trade, it's permission to lease for purposes of trade. In the legislation here, we're talking here about the leasing of demarcated areas, which is therefore a permission, not a restriction, but a permission to operate out of a certain area. And I mean, we're all talking about business development and we're all talking about creating entrepreneurs. That's where it starts. And uh, each local authority can make bylaws which are relevant for their situation. But these bylaws must follow strict protocol of transparency, accessibility and public participation before they are passed by the Premier of the province and published in a provincial government gazette. And these laws are subject to national and provincial laws as provided for in the Constitution. Therefore, no bylaw made by the local authorities may contradict or override the Business Act.